guys, it's me, Meteor. Here we are back for the final part of Metroid Fusion. As you can tell, one of the restricted area this time I kind of just saved over here. By the way, let's get a running start before we do anything. And get into that last movement over here. A duck down, and then jump up. And look, we get our last power bomb tank right there. But well, that's not our last one, the last one before the actual point of no return. So now we go to the navigation room one last time. Samus, we're done here. Leave the rest to the Federation. We should be preparing to evacuate the station. Are you joking? Do they know how dangerous the X are? How quickly they reproduce? The Federation has taken an interest in the X and SAX. They believe this life form has endless potential applications. This is ridiculous! The X are heartless abominations! What potential could they have? It is not necessary that you understand such matters. The Federation is coming now. You should just leave quietly. This is madness! They won't stand a chance here! This station will devour them! What could be worth the risk? Capturing the SAX, of course. Are you serious? Do they really think they can succeed? It'll be certainly be difficult. They don't expect your help. They knew you would try to destroy the SAX. That's why they stopped sending you support data. The Plasma B modification was ready some time ago, but they withheld it to keep you from engaging the SAX. Yet somehow you restored that function on your own. They also tried to withhold the diffusion missile upgrade because they didn't want you to grow too powerful. But they had already sent it and you tracked it down. Bravo, Samus. They must cancel this mission! Open a channel to headquarters! I won't let this happen! They are already on their way. Fools. As soon as the Federation ships land, the X will overwhelm them and absorb the knowledge and power of their occupants. The X are just waiting for the hunt to begin, and then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilization will end. The X hunger for form, knowledge, and power. They mimic these perfectly, but they cannot copy the soul. They're single-minded, instinctively seeking to increase in number. They're a plague, and the Federation underestimates their threat. The X must not leave here. I must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. The station has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy the X here and on the planet. I must send them to oblivion. Then, the station, and myself if I have to. Uh, doors are blocked. Open the pod bay doors, Hal! I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I have been ordered to confine you until the ships arrive. Don't let them do this! Can't you see what will happen, Adam? Adam? Who is Adam? A friend of mine. And what would this friend advise you to do now. He would know that the only way to end this is to start the self-destruct cycle. He'd know how important it is. Did this Adam care for you? Would he sit in a safe command room and order you to die? He would understand that Sam must live and some must die. He knew what it meant. He made that sacrifice once. So, he chose life for you, our fair warrior Samus Aran. Your Adam gave his life so that you might keep your... It's actually Samus Aaron, actually. Never mind. For the sake of the universe. How foolish. How dare you! How could you hope to understand, machine? You know that detonating this station in high orbit would not guarantee the complete extinction of the X-Parasites. Even though the station would be utterly destroyed, you would only succeed in removing the one obstacle to the galaxy's ruin yourself. You would ignore this simple fact and choose death. When Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. If you were to alter the station's orbit, then you might be able to include the planet in the vaporization field of the self-destruct detonation. You would have to start the propulsion sequence now, before the Federation arrives. Samus, this is your last mission. 
Go to the operations room and adjust the station's orbit to path to intercept SR-388. Yeah! The, the supercomputer's actually helping us! Well, that's a first! Then return to your ship and escape. Move quickly and stay alive. That's in order. Any objections, lady? Ah, good old Adam, always there to save us. Even if it's only in computer form, we still know that Adam is there looking for us and trying to help us and realizing that the rest of the Federation are freaking idiots! Like seriously, what kind of- Hmm, let's see. These X parasites could multiply really quickly and they're probably tan as the X on the board. I know! We'll capture one! That'll- I can see anything possible- What could possibly go wrong? Ser seriously, like, what the flip is the Federation thinking? I, I don't... I, I mean, honestly, it's probably not all too much more stupid than most human governments nowadays, but whatever, that's that's another story of another day. Either way, of course, you'll see this part before. I like this music they have here, too. For the reun I think it's called, like, Reuniting with Adam or something. So, I, I forget what the song... I forget what the title of the song is. But either way, our main goal is just to get back to the main sector here. I already showed all this off before, but still, I, I don't feel like cutting any about because I think it's... I, I'm kind of far away from the place I wanted to be, but in order to get that last upgrade, I had really no choice but to actually do that. So there you go. Let's just kill these stupid space pirates. If I don't even need to kill you, I can just get out of here and that's pretty much it. Anyway, let's go over this way now. We've already been to the left, see there's that one Metroid egg, so we know it's at least an Alpha Metroid. So there's that. Let's just keep moving over to the left and we'll find something else. And now we're heading over to the left side of this spot. Haha, -ha, you can't do anything to me and I'm escaping because I have the screw attack and you guys are all screwed. Then of course, we went down here inside this door and we saw this egg so now we know it's at least a gamma metroid uh, well, that's interesting okay fair enough gamma metroids won't be too bad uh. all right so let's go ahead and actually don't need to recharge let's go through here and now we can finally get back to the main sector finally then we could actually grab our last upgrade too while we're there which is always a nice thing And thus, we are on the main deck. We're able to finally complete our mission here for the final time. Let's head on to the... Go up to the main deck. Up to the very top of the top of the elevator. It's that old spot where we had to screw attack through. Or blast through because we were... To the elevator stopped power. Whatever. Either way, we're here now. Door is still damaged as always. In fact, a lot of this stuff is damaged now. So now, we're getting near the last upgrade in the game. That last upgrade is actually going to be right up here. We saw this door multiple times, but we couldn't actually do anything about it because before, we didn't have the power bomb to actually get past it. And this time, we didn't actually, last time we actually didn't have the power on, so we couldn't get through this door anyway. But now we can finally go in this door and get our last upgrade here. Roll in here, jump up, fall down. And we got our power bomb tank. The last one, slay a bomb here. And now we have every single upgrade there is in the game. We have 100%. Well, for the most part, anyway. This is not, this, wait, hold on. Where's the door I'm just going? That, this is the door that I went too far down. My bad. I recommend saving here. It's probably our last chance to do so. So I'm just gonna save real quick. Save complete. So if you missed anything now, and if I missed anything, and I found out there are actually 76 power bombs instead of 74, well, I'm gonna be super ticked because I just saved over the file. Well, I sure hope I got the right ones. Let's go ahead and recharge as well, because there's a nice little recharge room here for us. But I, I'm pretty sure for what I've read, there are 250 missiles and 74 power bombs and then 20 energy tanks. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. So I, I think we should be good. But in case I'm not, I'm probably going to be punching myself horribly. But we'll worry about that when you get to it. 
This is the final elevator we will be taking. Well, going up, anyway, I guess. But, you'll see. So yeah, there was one last room we couldn't get to on there before, and he pointed that to us. We were never able to access that room before, previously. But, now we can. Let's actually head up to that room. Uh... Yep, we have the SAX. This time, our goal is to actually kill her. However, it's really easy. Just charge up, and just keep screw attacking when she lands. Fire beam. And then just wait for her to land again. Fire beam. And just screw attack over after each individual shot. Really, the SAX is a joke. Well, no, the first time you actually face the SAX, you'll probably be screwing yourself over horribly. But, once you know what to do, it's very interesting. Whoops, I, I messed up horribly there. I got out of pattern. I, I kind of thought I was already defeating her, but I guess not. But yeah, she is actually able to do a lot of damage to you. So if you get out of sync of what you're supposed to do, that's a problem. And I already... By the way, the screw attack could also damage her, but it also damages you in the process. Because she also has a screw attack. So that's a problem. Wow, I thought... What the heck? Alright, but after a while, she turns into a giant monster thing. Which is really not a threat, because all we're going to do is just jump to a previous location and shoot her again. And that's it. Aww. Now, you'll notice... You can, you'll be completely unaffected by anything she fires if you're screw attacking. However, you could also use the screw attack to get as many health upgrades as you can from her in case you didn't have enough already. But, either way, let's actually complete this properly this time. Well, I'm, I'm doing horribly right now. But yeah, now you have the screw attack, you pretty much just jump and avoid all the fire right after she shoots. Two more hits, maybe? If I can actually hit properly, that is. Alright, let's get the X Parasite. Oh, you're gonna run away. Okay, well, so much for that, and that was a horrible fight. I was doing so good against her, too, and then I kind of, uh, messed up there near the end. But whatever, you saw just what I was trying to do there at the beginning. Here we are, the final room in the game. Well, the new room, anyway. Propulsion sequence activated. Destination planet MR388. So yes, in classic Metroid vein, we have an escape sequence here. So now, we need to get out of here within three minutes. Well, we know where our ship's at, so we need to actually head back there relatively quickly. And it doesn't matter how much health you have left. You can have like three health left, it doesn't matter. And you'll see why. But anyway, let's just go to the navigation room, of course, that's stopping there, we can't go back. Why would you want to go back when you're trying to escape and get back to your main ship? I mean, that only makes sense, right? I love the music though, that escape sequence music is, is always a good thing. Fun fact, this actually was his escape music before it actually was Ridley's theme, just so you know. Head all the way down. And now we're in the clear. Now we can finally head back to our ship. Uh, oh dear, that's not good. Where's our ship? All I see is this giant Metroid egg. Here we have an Omega Metroid, which we cannot kill at all. He takes us down to one health. Hey look, it's the SAX! Now people are wondering, why wouldn't the SAX kill you? Why does why does she attack you Mega Metroid? Hmm, let's see. Me Samus is pretty much already dead, and the Omega Metroid is actually the pr the final evolution of the Metroid species, which is the main predator of the X. Who do you think would be the bigger target? <laughs> Either way, once the SAX dies, she actually gives you her upgrade, the final upgrade, and we actually have the Ice Beam now. 
So fire, run away. As you, if you notice, after he slashes at you, he does a lot of damage, and he also slashes at you, but he could also stun you by doing that. But either way, it's actually easier to just shoot fire missiles like this instead of actually ch charging. But also have the charge missile anyway. Now, at that point when he slashes, you're supposed to actually be screwing attacking the top, but I didn't do that. And I'm, I'm doing horribly against this fight, but whatever. That's not the point. The point is we're just trying to destroy him. Your only real enemy against here... This guy's not all too tough. The only real enemy is the actual time you have left. So once again, we destroy all the Metroids. The Mega Metroid there was the only threat left. And look, we got the final suit upgrade, and we have the Ice Beam back. How did the ship drive itself, though? And SR388 and the BSL station are both incredibly destroyed. Hooray! We saved the galaxy again! That perfect military mind, the wisdom of Adam Malkovich, continued to serve even after death. Until today, I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to the computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe. But how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? I doubt they will understand what we did, the danger we barely averted. They will hold tribunals and investigations. They will hold us responsible. Adam understood this, and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry. One of them will understand. One of them must. I reflected upon his words, and I see the wisdom in them. We are all bound by our experiences. They are limits of our consciousness. But in the end, the human soul will ever reach for the truth. This is what Adam taught me. Just one detail still bothers me. The ship can only be started manually. Yet, before I faced the Omega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hands. Is it possible? Adam? Lady, what's troubling you? You wonder how I started the ship? Just think about it. They lent me a hand. It's our friends we saved from Super Metroid! And who actually taught us about the Shine Spark and wall jumping. And thus, that is it. The end of the game, now we're at the credits. Ah, oh, man, it was great playing this game again. You know, I actually loved doing this Let's Play. I enjoy this game a lot, and actually getting 100% in it, I'm actually very happy with it. I, I don't think I've had this much fun in a Let's Play for quite some time, actually. So I'm actually very happy I did it. It was a nice change of pace from what I normally do, so that's always a nice thing. It was nice practice for my upcoming Let's Play. Most of you already know my next Let's Play already is. In fact, might as well just say, because pretty much all of you know, my next one's going to be Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. The reason why I did this game first, for two reasons. To practice with GBAs and how to actually format them for actual video formatting. And two, to actually practice myself with Metroidvanias. While Amazing Mirror is definitely substantially more... Uh, difficult to let's play in this game. You guys chose it, and I, I'm i doing it. So, there you go. But that's not all. I'm actually going to be playing a little fun something to do for the let's play as well, that you might guys might have the chance to win something. So that'll be fun. I'll give you rules and details in like a couple of videos after this. I won't be starting to let's play right away, because I actually want to get it caught ahead by like a few episodes first. So I might start to let's play in like a week or so, but uh, I will be posting the details for the contest before that. Uh, I'll explain everything then, but either way, of course, you see all the people who worked on this. This list is actually quite short for credits, but I mean, it is a GBA game, but actually, even for that, it's still a pretty big team. Even if most of them are just like, TAS testing, social things, and whatnot. But yeah, I actually really enjoy this game, and unfortunately, there'll never be, a, there'll probably never be another 2D Metroid game ever again. So this is basically the last new one they made, uh, Satoru Iwata. Uh, we'll never see that again, unfortunately. Maybe it'll say, like, um, in remembrance of, maybe. But, oh well.
So let's see what happens. Now we have 100%. Oh yeah, if you get 100%, you get this nice, awesome image of Samus. I am so glad they brought back this this suit in Smash, because I loved her fusion suit. I, I didn't ever like the Zero suit too much. I like the way she had style in this one. Some people are saying, it's sexualizing Samus. Um, she wore a bikini in every other version of Metroid ever, and also, you realize that... Uh, Sorry, I had a point here, and I completely lost. Oh yeah, people think like, so shouldn't Samus be wearing something less revealing? She's in a power suit. What the flip do you expect? I mean, do you think she's gonna be wearing like some hot sweater underneath her suit? I mean, magic is pretty hot in there. Anyway, pretty much you see clear time. Three thirty-three. Ready for collecting items is one hundred percent. See you next mission. Anyway. With that, we are done with Metroid Fusion, so that's going to be good game.